This morning, groundbreaking mind-to-movement technology, giving people with spinal cord injuries, like Angie Donaldson, the ability to move and even feel again for the first time in years. You're going to play the piano with your brain. Yes. It's done using a cutting-edge brain-computer interface, or BCI, at the University of Pittsburgh and UPMC Rehabilitation Institute. The BCI can actually record activity from their brain, interpret patterns of activity to understand the intent that the person's trying to communicate, and then turn that into a signal for an external device. The hope is that someday BCIs can help people with spinal cord injuries at home by restoring lost mobility or feeling. Angie is the newest study participant. She was paralyzed from the chest down after a fall down the stairs in 2019, her life changing instantly. Your independence, it's essentially gone. I have to rely on someone to help me get in and out of bed, shower, um, get dressed. It's, it's a lot. How is it being a parent living with a spinal cord injury? Very, very challenging. I get a lot of mom guilt because I, I'm not able to do the things I used to do with them physically, and that's, that's tough. The injury traumatic and isolating, but Angie, now 52, has found solace here at the lab. She says it gives her purpose. I'm inspired again. I feel hopeful again um, because it, this technology is just going to get better. And if they can get the technology of sensation going in our hands, eventually it could be your, your bladder, it, it could be your legs, it, it, we're just... We're just starting. 39-year-old Nathan Copeland can use his brain to move this robotic arm. In fact, he's the longest working study participant at the lab, 11 years. Firm grip. <laughs> and now, since the car accident that paralyzed him from the chest down 21 years ago, Nathan is once again mm -hmm. able to experience the sensation of touch. It feels like my middle finger. People have really focused mostly on the ability to move, but we know from lots of evidence that if you can't feel things, you really can't move effectively. I think it's kind of definitely dreamlike just thinking about something and it's happening. So both Nathan and Angie spoke about the purpose that participating in this study has given them. They won't even see the full benefits themselves, but what they are doing now brings the science closer to a world in which people can use these devices at home, and that means freedom wow. for yeah. people. Really amazing. Huge advance. Yeah. Yeah. That's Fantastic. great. Thank you, Will. You got it.